My name is Ray. And I'm Alvin. And we are from the Eagle Rock neighborhood in Los Angeles, California. Ray and I grew up in the same neighborhood. Never really hung out until I married my wife, who happened to have gone to the same high school with Ray. Now we're close friends and business partners, too. Oh, that looks like fun. I came up with the idea for this business while working at a treatment facility for children. And one of the more difficult times was bath time. There was one kid in particular who had refused to bathe for a few days. He let me know what the problem was, and that's when I had my aha moment. I spent years developing and improving a product, but still something was missing. Then I realized Alvin had his own design company, so I asked him to help me design the product further. That looks really, really good. We have a lot of interest from major retailers, but we can't scale fast enough to get our product out there. We need the Sharks' expertise and capital to take our product nationwide. This is it for us. Ray's given up his job. I've transitioned my business and totally focused on this product. So we're all in. All, all in. in. My name is Ray Phillips. Now I'm Alvin Uy. We're the founders of Soap Socks from Eagle Rock, California. We're here today seeking $260,000 for 10% equity stake in our company. Sharks, meet Soap Socks, the next generation of washcloths for kids. Sharks, as parents, maybe you've struggled with this. You come home after a long day of work, you start the evening routine of homework, dinner time, then bath time. Ugh, bath, bath time. time. How do I get my kid to bathe without the screaming and crying? Ugh. With Sharks, we have the solution. What we came up with is an adorable new line of plush toys that kids can take from playtime to bath time. Oh, Lord. What we've done is take a cute and cuddly plush toy, turn it into a bath babe by simply replacing its inner stuffing with antimicrobial sponge, and replacing the outer material with terry cloth. Let me show you how it works. Simply take soap and put it in, tank the shark's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or under the shell of Taylor the turtle. Simply add water, Use the uniquely designed finger pockets for better handling, work into a lather, and let bath time begin. And after bath time, simply hang your soap socks to dry or just toss them into the laundry. So, sharks, why don't you let us throw some soap socks into your tank and you throw some cash into ours? So, we're gonna hand out samples to you now. We have seven different characters that we launched with. Um, <laughs> Ms. Hershevik, we started with you with the uh, wonderful hippo. Uh, because I hip get the pink hippo? You get the pink hippo <laughs> because, you know, the hippos are nice and cuddly and they look the part, but they're the most dangerous animals out there in the world. Thank oh, you. Yeah. 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 What's a turtle? Okay, <laughs> this is our best-selling turtle, and we wanted to make sure you had that. Uh, Mr. Wonderful, you're kind of known to spit some fire, so we figured we'd compliment you with our wonderful dragon. It's the dragon of truth. Damon, you're more of a like sit and wait kind of guy for the perfect opportunity to get your deals, so we figured it'd be appropriate to get I you like that gator. Uh, Mark, uh, that's the, the big shark. That's Tank the shark. He's the biggest shark of them all, so oh, we wanted to make please. sure. Oh, you should have gotten a donkey for Mark. Oh. <laughs> What's your history in, in business to come up with this idea? So I worked at a residential treatment facility for abused kids for a number of years. And one of the more difficult times was bath time. We had one kid in particular uh, who had refused to bathe, and he was carrying a little stuffed animal. And he was like, that mean lady won't let me take my stuffed animal into the bathtub with me. And so I said, we can, we can fix that. Hold on. And I thought outside the box. I had the staff grab another stuffed animal, made it hold soap, lathered it up. And he was like, OK, I'll go. And so after that, and they're like, hey, maybe you should go for it. And so then I partnered with Alvin, who has a background in design and product design, and he made the magic happen. Give us a sales profile and which retailers you're in. This is a retail-oriented product. We've been on the market for six months. We've done 300,000 in sales. Some of the major retailers is Nordstrom's. They're, they're going to be rolling us out across the country. I'm guessing that you have a patent pending on this. So we have our design patent pending and our utility patent pending. And what do they retail for? We are retailing them for $19.95. What do they cost you to make? Uh, they cost $3.66 currently. Ray, tell me about the forecast for this year and next year. We're on track to do $576,000 for the remainder of this year. Next year, we are estimated to do $2.4 million. Let me ask you something. Yes. 20 bucks for a sponge yeah. is a lot of money. I agree. Because every other plush toy in the store that looks like this is $4.99, $5.99. This is a really premium plush toy. Yes. Like the first in my life I've ever seen for $20. 
I think you guys got a nice business. You're killing it on margins, but it, it's not a business that gets me lathered up. Um, I don't know that I can help, so for those reasons, I'm oh, out. Oh, oh. oh gosh, the, the whole thought of Mark lathered up just, uh... You know, people would pay for that. I have a question. Instead of going out there with Nordstrom and putting it out at 19.99, can you go back to your manufacturers and see if there's any way you can get the price down and then not take such a hefty margin? You have a really hefty margin. Great. Lori does have a valid point. What is the lowest you can make it at? Two, we can get it down. We think we can get it down to 250, 270. For you to get it down to 250, what is the quantity you have to buy in? 600,000 units or more. Wow. Guys, the price is too high. I can't even see this ever in long term more than $12.99, ever. It should be $9.99. And you're not worth $2.6 million. I'm out. I think what you're proving is you have a great concept, but at a $2.6 million value for me today to give you $260,000, I don't think you've quite proven that my money wants to go there. I'm afraid I'll take a bath. Thank uh, you. I'm out. So guys, why are you valuing it at 2.6? Uh, we are on schedule to hit the five, just under 600,000 by the end of the year. And on schedule, because you have existing orders that will take you there? Yes. OK, so um, I want to be part of this, but I can't give you a valuation of 2.6. I'll give you $260,000 for 33%. That's my offer. It, do you, if you don't mind, I'd like to hear. I'm Lord. fine with this, so Thank let's you. move it along and something's going to happen. I think it's really a smart product. Great job. Really clear what it is. The name is fantastic, Soap Socks. Then I have the other side of me that's saying, you have a patent pending, but I don't know if you're going to get it. And in the time that it'll take for you to get it, it might be two years, three years, and someone else may copy it. If you were at a lower price, you could blitz the market. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. So, could you restate your offer, Damon, just so that we're clear? Yeah, my offer is $260,000 for 33% to make us equal partners, the three musketeers. We don't mind doing the hard work. That percentage is higher than what we'd want to give away. I would like to. Don't make a mistake. Just in case, just think about this, all right? If you're wrong on the pricing, in other words, if the market that really clears is $9.99, which I think it is, you're really going to need this guy. Because you're going to go out with a misstep launch. The first retailers that you put the SKUs into are going to have slow sales and delist you. And then you're going to have to re retrace and figure out how to get the manufacturing cost down to about a buck thirty-five. On your own, that's going to be hard. And so if he's willing to do it, I mean, if you walk out of here without that deal, you're making a big mistake. Four sharks are out. Alvin and Ray are seeking $260,000 for 10% of their children's bath toy company, Soap Socks. Damon has offered the amount they are seeking, but he wants 33% of the company. If you walk out of here without that deal, you're making a big mistake. Suck it up, take the pain. You asked for too much in the first place. All right, you asked for too much, you wanted 260, and those are the rules of Shark Tank. He's got to give you 260. You got to pay for that mistake. You're paying for it right now. Um, the 33% the is, is steep uh, for us and, and what we've been doing. We know you bring a lot of value. Uh, you were one of the sharks that we were hoping to be able to get a deal with, and uh, I'm hoping we can still come to an agreement on where that number really lies. Um, would you be willing to do 15% for... Three hundred and fifty. Oh, they are proud. Wow, they are proud. I should wash his mouth out with soap for that counter. Hold on. Yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna have to stay firm on the thirty-three. 
I have a question. Yes. We're gonna have what been talking. What if we offered you a million dollars to just buy it out? <laughs> we aren't afraid of the hard work and building it to something bigger. For us, it's not about the money. I've been designing products for bigger companies. I, I, I know I'm good, but this is the first time where I feel like, you know what, I'm finally doing something for myself. We own this. We're dream chasers right now, so we don't want to give it away. We want a partnership, but we're dream chasers. We're chasing after and the American dream. I get yeah. that. Ray, Lori, and I saw a lot of value in the product, but I think her and I see a potentially different path. So we just thought we're willing to risk a million dollars to try to take it down that path. You're innovators. So this, I don't think, is going to be your last product. Yeah. It's going to be the first of many. Guys, you got, you got to make a decision. You got a million dollar offer, or you can partner with Damon. You got to give up a third of the company. What are you going to do? We're going to have to decline both offers. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. I'm a little disappointed that they devaluated our product that much. I don't think even if they'd offered us $5 million that we would have taken it, or $10 million, because it's, it's so much more than that.